Um, I thought I'd answer a couple questions while I'm just connecting these uh, um, these wires here. Um, we've been asked many times if we are going to keep this Airstream. We've nicknamed this Airstream Vanderhill. We're kind of using it to, to kind of theme um, how we're going to do the inside of the trailer, how we're going to style it. So what we're, what we're imagining is kind of like a, like an old, like almost like a, an old, um, lounge or, or library or like cigar room. The hope is that we can, uh, rely on a lot of feedback from anyone watching this. Um, Alexis had a, a cool idea that, um, you know, maybe we, uh, uh, maybe we have a way that people who are, you know, following the story um, can uh, kind of help contribute um, and, you know, kind of um, help us come up with some of these um, design elements and choices. And so, um, you know, that's, that's the hope anyways, that's the goal. But the goal is that uh, we are going to fix it up and we are going to sell it. Uh, it's funny because I had, I had never stepped foot in an Airstream up until three months ago when we purchased this one, until we purchased Vanderhill, um, which is a little funny. Uh, I've always, I mean, we, we traveled the country for a whole year. We spent a whole year in our RV and, and traveled the country. And, and I do remember seeing Airstreams out on the road. I think Airstreams is just always, uh, I think there's this, uh, the sense of nostalgia with airstreams um and so there there is a really really cool community out there there are a lot of people out there that have done these for you know, for decades um and so they have a ton of knowledge ton of skills moving on to electrical electrical and windows are kind of like the next big items because pretty soon it's going to get really hot um, here in Utah and I mean I'm essentially standing in an oven. I'm going to be installing a new AC unit um, which is going to be critical to being able to continue working in here through the summer. It's going to get hot. I think I have the wiring harness just about done. I have one more length of, um, of a ground to run and then I think that is everything to at least be able to test the entire system. Okay, I have my power going in. Uh, so the green is going to all the individual markers. So up here I have power going in, one of those lever connectors right there. And then I have a ground and I'm doing it in series. So I have ground for that one, ground to this one, same ground, ground to the next one, ground to the next one. And I'm gonna run another ground over to that one right there. Um, and then same with the power going in, so the green going in. Um, this was split, which is is good because I think they're just so far apart. I don't know um, why exactly, but anyways, so this one will go to that upper marker right there. And then these ones right here, I say marker lights or running lights. I think they're called a, a few different names, but um, just the running lights when you're um, driving at night. So that's what these are right here. I replaced all these with LEDs, um, but I just have it going to power, to power, to power, and then this last one will go to power. Um, and then I just have to connect that ground right there. And then the ground is gonna come from off of this to the um, uh, distribution box. I believe that's what it's called. Um, but I have to just connect the ground to that. And then I don't have a, a, a battery yet, but I've been using a, um, um, a 12 volt battery charger and it's great because it has 12 volt um, output. So I can test all the systems. Um, so hopefully all I have to do is just connect the ground to um, the box, the distribution box, and then um, connect power to any of the uh, seven pin lines. These are all, it is labeled seven pin. And then here are all the uh, cables going to the pin. I do still have a seven pin out there somewhere. Oh, it's kind of on the ground there. But, um, so I'll connect that to this at some point. Um, but it's going a lot faster. Once I got out of my head, 
of how to do this and just started connecting wires, then it started making sense and having the 12 volt battery charger um, as my source power to, uh, to test everything made it that much easier. So anyways, lots of work, but I'm hopeful that I can test this tonight. And if I can and they work, I'd be very happy. Anyways, let's get back to it. Try to show you what I'm doing. So these these things by Irwin, um, just wire strippers are amazing. These are definitely a must. They just they just make it go so much smoother. Also, these things by Wago. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, they're little lever. I think they're called lever locks. Um, they just have like these little levers on them. Oh, I don't know if you can see them. And so then all you do is just uh bite going by. So all you do is just stick it in and then just snap it closed and that's it. And I mean you can yank on it pretty hard and it's not coming out. So these are making life so much easier and if I have an issue I can quickly just unclip it, switch it out if I need to or move the wires around. Super helpful. They're a bit spendy, but well worth it. Like, and I'm gonna be doing all the lights here pretty soon too. I mean, these are gonna be invaluable. In fact, I have to order more. I didn't, I thought 50 were, <laughs> would have been enough, but not even close. So I'll probably need maybe another, I don't know, 100, 150, 200, who knows. But um, anyways, highly recommend these things. These things are, are definitely worth the money. Um, so right now what I'm doing is, um, connecting all the marker lights and I'll kind of show you what, what I need. Okay, so now um, I've got the back part wired up uh, with the, um, the new seven pin harness. Um, so now I'm gonna pull it forward and start wiring up all the marker lights for the front. Um, and then I'm gonna do some more testing and make sure everything works. And then I think we'll be good. So cross my fingers, hopefully everything works out. So now I'm just gonna run some wires. I mean, this part should be the easy part. I'm going to do my best to manage all my wires right here. I'm going to make it look very clean, very purposeful, easy to address um, in the future if needed. But my gosh, that was, that was hard. That was really hard. So, but it is, it's simple. It's power going in, power coming out. Like that's, that's really what it uh, is coming down to. I'm going to explain how I wired everything. And so hopefully if someone else is wondering like, how do I install a new harness in an Airstream? Like hopefully I will have the video that explains it all, but it works. So many hours of research <laughs> trying to understand how a trailer harness works. I was to the point where I need, I just wanted to go to a trailer shop and just look at how they have their harnesses set up. Um, it was a lot of work and I'm glad I got this, this wiring harness. I think I just, I was missing something and I was scratching my brain like, what am I missing on this? Um, and I figured out it was just the ground. I was missing the ground, got the ground figured out. Well, it took forever, lots of hours of research, but the lights are working. <laughs> They're all working. I do have them all going at the same time just to make sure everything is working, but the lights are working. These will be changed out, but um, it works. Oh, first step in electrical works. I will show you what the inside looks like. Making sure that everything has power, 
Um, I did run through all the tests with it. Everything does work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add some insulation, some bubble insulation. Uh, so the wires aren't resting right up against the shell. Start attaching it to the wall with these little, these little clips right here. So that is the curve. dark but I got all the wires all clipped up so looks much better I can actually stand underneath here so I got my harness cable coming all the way down I will still um, tie these together just to make sure I'm managing all the wires correctly I gotta add some uh, some rubber around this opening right here so it's not um, not cutting through the wire at all same with down here um, I'll add some rubber gasket material around there um, and I'll clean all that up. I don't want to put too much down because I have to repair a hole right here, just a little slice in the aluminum. So I'll repair that and then I'll clean all this up again. But that's mostly it. I do need to switch out these markers because I do need some red color markers in the back instead of amber color. Those are just extras because I wanted to make sure I tested it. But, um, but now <laughs> I came across a new issue. Um, so as I follow all the way up to the front of the trailer, I have my main box right here. Um, the problem is I need to get this, this harness. I want it up against this wall right here, but I'm going to feed it through those holes that are already, um, in the frame. And then I'm actually going to attach this box on, um, there was a, uh, opening on the front, um, kind of like a flip down um, access point. I think it was for the batteries, uh, but I'm actually going to tie this to, I'm going to attach it to that um, that lid. So if you do need access to it, all you have to do is just um, open up the hatch and then it'll just be right there ready for you. But um, in order to run the harness through those cables, I would either have to take all this down take it apart over there, bring it over here, and then feed it through those holes and then back up. Or I can just unscrew everything from, uh, unbolt everything from, uh, from here, and then just pull this out, feed it through those holes, and then attach it back to, to this box. So I think that might be the easiest option. So I'm gonna go with that one. So that's what I'm gonna do. thinking about adding just an additional outlet underneath the kitchen sink in case we want to add its own water heater um, later, but at least have the option. We have another outlet for the kitchen area, stove, uh, possibly the furnace. Um, I may add the furnace here, um, but that may change. But furnace for now. I'm going to put an outlet up here because we're going to have some shelving up here. Um, another outlet for the uh, dinette. Uh, the water pump is going to go over here. The water tanks. And um, the last outlet which will be across from the kitchen area. And I think that's it. I think I got all my appliances. Oh, also the AC 
will have its own dedicated line. Um, but I think that uh, I think that's all of the all the appliances and outlets. Not too many. Now I just got to break it up into groups. What do you think?